So in this video, I'm gonna talk about graphic design. So it's gonna be a fun episode because we're gonna be jumping straight to content production. My name is Robert and I am a content creator and I am the founder of Frame 316. My passion is to help you become a content creator, as simple as that. We have been discussing a lot about social media and content creation in our past episodes, but we haven't really jumped into an actual content production video. So right now, I'm going to talk about graphic design for the non-designers. Not many people are really, you know, tech savvy. They don't know how to use Photoshop. Probably for some of you, Photoshop is a bit basic. But for most entrepreneurs, they really don't have any idea on uh, whether it's worth paying the buck in uh, subscribing for a photoshop subscription so right now i'm gonna be showing you a free tool you haven't used this before probably in this way but you will be surprised on what you can do so let's jump right into my computer so in my computer right now i have google drive so it's free and you can access it using a gmail account so so to start up I'm just gonna go to new and we're gonna be using Google Slides. Yes, Google Slides. So I'm gonna click Google Slides. So after opening Google Slides, you would see you know, this PowerPoint looking layout. Uh, I, I think most of you have used PowerPoint, so this is gonna be fun. So right now, as you can see, the layout is presented as something that you would use for presentation so it's meant to be presented on a projector screen on a laptop on a computer so we, first thing that we have to do is we have to change the dimension of uh, the layout so how do we do that i would just go to file and click page setup so on the page setup i have a few options here so i have a standard 4x3 16 by 9 which is hd I'm um, gonna go to custom and in here we have to select pixels so mm, roughly let's say we do a 650 by 650 pixels and then we apply and yes right now we have our square graphic which we can use for Instagram and Facebook or even Twitter another problem that entrepreneurs are having is uh, where do I get the photos you know I mean, you can take photos using your smartphones. You know, smartphones are really awesome nowadays, the cameras on your smartphones. But I'm gonna show you a free um, stock photography website where you can use it and you know, just grab the photo that you want. And it's actually awesome because the photographers are really allowing you to use this for free without even, you know, uh, giving credit to the photographer, but if you're in a good mood, you can donate to the photographer. So I'm gonna go to pexels.com. Okay, so this is the website pexels.com. So let's say I'm gonna be posting something about design. Uh, let's say I'm gonna search for laptop on cafe. So all these photos you can practically use. Uh, for your social media posting. So I'm gonna grab this photo because I'm gonna be talking about, you know, layout. So on the free download uh, button, just download the small size and that's it, okay? Going back to our presentation, I would just have to insert the image. So I would have to upload it from my computer, go to my downloads folder. Where's my file? Here it is and insert it okay so right now you would see that the image because the image is not square so you would have this white um, border on the top and on the bottom so what you need to do is you just have to resize your image to fill that square okay so just to check this okay so we're here okay looking at google the google slide screen you would see this like ruler here on top from the left side to the right side so that's your uh, border so what do we do here so i would just have to insert text box
and let's say I would just put here it's a good day to have coffee okay so because Google Slides is pretty basic you know you have all the tools at the top here of your screen so I can change the font and say Verdana increase my font size okay and make it bold change my color okay so now I have a very you know basic uh, layout here it just says it's a good day to have coffee so uh, I can add as much text as I want so if I insert another text box here probably put a website here let's make this yellow Verdana bold okay not both and you know I would just have to drag this and align this to my other text okay so as you can see it's pretty basic so right now I have a very simple graphic that I can post on my social media without any you know advanced knowledge without any advanced skills you just have to you know put together these resources and use it to your advantage and you know just explore the stuff here probably we can also add a shape okay let's say we want to put a white line here you know just to add a bit of a uh, design okay so as I mentioned this is my border here so I would have to adjust this to okay. just have to adjust the layout to make sure that we're in the frame bit of an alignment here So don't forget to name your graphic. So coffee graphic, okay? So the next thing that I need to do is to download this as a JPEG image. When I show this in Finder, there. So right now I have a very basic graphic post. And again, this is something that you can improve on yourself. If you want to shift to Photoshop or other you know, paid software to create graphic design, it's up to you. But this post is for the non-graphic designers. You know, It's not the end of the world for you. You don't have to pay uh, tons of money to graphic designers. You know, This is something that's simple and that that's, you can start engaging with your audience. And as I mentioned, there's a free stock photography website. So combining that would really give you the edge. So it's just a matter of exploring and experimenting what works for you. So thank you for watching. And if you found this video valuable, please subscribe and uh, share this to your friends who would benefit from this content.